The Campinos National Park is located in the central part of Poland in close vicinity of the capital Warsaw. The park was established in 1959. Occupying 385 square kilometers, it is the second largest national park in Poland. Strict nature protection covers 12% of the park area. It's a diverse mosaic of habitats featuring an abundance of rare and endangered species. In its history, it witnessed a number of important events which adds to the unique heritage of this valuable area. The forest is discovered by over one million visitors annually and is appreciated internationally. In 2000, the park became a UNESCO Man in Biosphere Reserve. It also has the status of the Natura 2000 program area. Dr. Shimon Biek of the Institute of Forestry Sciences at the Warsaw University of Life Sciences, a guide at the Campinos National Park. Hi, my name is Shimon and today I'll be your guide to the Campinos National Park. Two features of uh, Campinos landscape uh, include inland dunes and wetlands. They constitute more or less uh, neighboring and uh, latitudinal belts. In the north, we have Vistula River and then dunes and wetlands. And again, dunes and wetlands. Dunes are covered with forests, uh, Scots pine, silver fir, English oak, black elder. They constitute majority of species composition. Wetlands are covered mainly by meadows, which also are very important and valuable environments. But uh, Campinos uh, Forest is not only the national park, it's also their surroundings. And uh, these surroundings are also interesting. You may know famous footballer Robert Lewandowski, the captain of our national team. He raised here in small city of Leszno. Classic music fans surely recognize Frederick Chopin, who was born here in Żelazowa Wola, so close to the national park. Are you ready? So let's go for a walk. The area of the Campinos forest was formed during the final stage of the last glacial age. Meltwaters, whose runoff was blocked by a huge mass of ice, deposited a lot of sand in front of the glacier. Later on, the sand was shaped by the wind into dunes, which very often form long rows of hills. About 12,000 years ago, they were stabilized by vegetation and nowadays Campinos dunes are considered one of the best preserved inland dunes in Europe. Beside mainly Scots pine stands, on the dunes you can also find heaths, juniper bushes and other xerothermic vegetation. The highest dunes in the Kampinowski National Park reach 30 meters of height. Today they are covered mostly with forest, but uh, not so long ago they were just bare heaps of sand. Intensive afforestation carried out after the Second World War caused the restoration of forest ecosystems but still you can find places where a lot of sand can be found, just like here. Not so long ago, the backup nuclear command headquarters was located here. Today, only bats are inhabitants of this place.
the places where river currents ran during the Ice Age lay lower, so water stayed there longer after the glacier retreated. That's where wetlands developed. Occupied mostly by alder and birch stands, these habitats are very dependent on the water level. In a few places you can recognize them because they feature a white cover of cotton grass. Drainage, which was carried out in the 19th and 20th centuries, turned some wetlands into meadows, which became very important habitats of non-forest vegetation and animals. Although peat, which is found here, is not very abundant, it was excavated during the 1920s. One of such places is Długie Bagno, the Long Swamp, where relic leather leaf Camidaphne calliculata can be found. Wetlands and meadows are a very important part of the Campinos National Park. A lot of effort is put into protecting those habitats and to restore proper water conditions. Most lives in the wetlands and or deep in the forest. But nowadays uh, it can be found also on the streets of uh, villages or cities around the uh, Campinos forest. Uh, we can also meet this animal on tourist trails uh, and a lot of people take photos uh, of this uh, nice uh, animal or collect, for example, uh, antlers. Moose is so popular here that uh, it was uh, pictured in the logo of Campinos National Park. Many people are surprised uh, to learn that uh, in Campinos National Park we can find also lynx. This very rare and endangered species, it was successfully introduced in 1992 and since that time some people claim to see this animal in the woods. Humans have explored and exploited the Campinoska forest for a long time. One of the most remarkable examples of past activities is an ornamental glass cup featuring gladiators found in a settlement on a prehistoric smelting site. Later, the area served as a hunting ground for Mazovian and Polish royals. Human settlement advanced into the woods slowly but steadily. Villages of lumberjacks were set up deeper and deeper into the forest. Mennonite settlers were brought in to manage floodplains in the northern part. Now the topped willows used by them in basketry and for fence structures are one of the iconic features of the Campinos landscape. Less and less people live uh, in the border of National Park now and the nature regains the land. However, you can find many traces of uh, past uh, presence of humans here. Abandoned households, uh, fruit trees blossoming in the spring, uh, cellars that now are occupied by hibernating bats, even shrines uh, or crosses uh, in the middle of the forest. All of these evidence that people lived here and all this area was a passing with my life. Many a time the Campinoska forest witnessed historic events. King Władysław Jagiełło marched here with his knights to fight the Teutonic Knights in the victorious Battle of Grunwald in 1410. In the 19th century, these forests gave shelter to insurgents struggling for Polish independence. A lot of heavy fighting took place here during World War II, especially in September 1939 when Polish troops defeated in the Battle of the Bzura by the Nazis had to fight their way to Warsaw.
The Kampinoska forest was also a very strong center of the resistance movement, and units that stayed here significantly helped the insurgents who fought in the Polish capital during the Warsaw Rising of 1944. Many people were killed during mass executions that took place in the Kampinoska forest, especially during the Nazi occupation. One such place where this tragic history is commemorated is the Palmyra Memorial. Over 2,000 people are buried here. Uh, look at the crosses or matsevas uh, at the graves. They indicate that uh, people of uh, different origin or religion uh, died here. Look also at the three crosses at the back. They resemble people who spread their arms just being shot. Palmyra Museum tells the history of people who died here, who were executed by the Nazis. Look at those walls. Their rusty, bloody color resembles those who died here. And also, have a closer look at those holes, at those bullet holes. They say the number of those holes uh, equals the number of people who were buried here. The wealth of natural wonders, captivating history and close proximity to the Polish capital make the Campinos National Park a popular tourist and recreation destination. There are over 360 kilometers of hiking trails, more than 200 kilometers of cycle paths and 10 educational trails. The infrastructure includes parking lots, resting places, viewing platforms and picnic areas where bonfires can be lit. Educational activities are carried out in two centers in Izabelin and Granica. In the summer, there's a steam train operating on an old narrow-gauge rail line in the western part of the park. Natural and cultural aspects of Campinas National Park make uh, this place very special. What you have seen was uh, just uh, snapshots uh, of what uh, you can find here. And uh, proper recognition of uh, this place uh, required time and uh, more effort. So we encourage you to come here and explore the park by uh, yourselves, but in real, this time in real. See you then.